In this video, we'll talk about joining tables to perform more complex queries. First note, you may sometimes end up with a database and no entity relationship diagram, or maybe an incorrect one. For example, the table or column names in the diagram could be wrong. You can obtain information about the database itself using SQL. A very useful query is select name from SQLite master where type equals table. This returns all the table names in the database. To get all the column names in a table, you can use the following, pragma table info customers. This command returns all the column names in the customers table, and note that this is one of the few commands we'll talk about that doesn't begin with the select keyword. Assuming that we know the structure of our database, SQL joins let us combine two or more tables based on a related column. The entity relationship diagram gives a map of which pairs of tables can be joined. For example, we can join the genres and the tracks table based on the genre ID. This could be useful to access the genre of each track for building playlists. We could join multiple tables based on pairs of shared columns. For example, we can link customers with tracks via invoices and invoice items. An inner join selects records that have a matching value in each table. An example is to associate each track with its genre. So the query select genres.name, tracks.name from tracks, inner join genres on genre ID, joins the genres and the tracks tables side by side wherever the corresponding IDs match. This query will return track names and their genre. Note, if there are tracks without genres, for example, these will not be shown. We can join three tables by chaining the inner join keyword. The query selects genres.name, tracks.name, albums.title from tracks where we inner join the genres table on genre ID and the albums table on album ID associates tracks with both their genre and their album. The left join keyword returns all records from the left table and the match records from the right table. The result is null from the right side if there's no match, and right join is similar. So for example, the query select tracks.name invoice items.quantity from tracks where we left join on track ID will return the names of all the tracks and the quantity that were invoiced. For tracks which have never been purchased, the quantity will be null. There is also a right join which works in the same way but is less often used and sometimes not even available. If you want a right join, just use left join with the names of the tables swapped. The full join, also called full outer join keyword, returns all records where there is a match in the left or the right table. This can potentially print a lot of data. In some versions of SQLite, for example the version of my laptop, this is not actually implemented, and as you might guess, using full joins is not very common. 